Hey, it's Tim here. In the previous video, I showed you how to make points in Tableau 2019-2. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a line between those points in 2019-2. I'm still using the taxi data that I was using before from the Exasol community project from a while back. And to, to use this new function, you can just start by creating a field. So let's uh, just type in make line. That's the name of the function. And uh, like I called out before, if you don't know how to use a function, you've always got this sort of menu here on the right hand side. So if you don't see that, if you see sort of just like a normal window size like this, you just hit this arrow here on the right hand side and it expands uh, sort of all the functions for you. You can order them or select them by sort of function. And you can see here, we've got these two spatial functions, make line and make point. Make line just needs a start and an end point. So basically we'll just take our pickup point and our drop off point. And it just needs a comma in between those two. And now our calculation is valid. Let's just call this a line and hit okay. Now, when you're doing this, if you're working with a really large data set, I just encourage you just to, just to think for one second. This taxi data that I'm using, it's 13 million uh, rows, okay? So imagine drawing 13 million lines whilst also generating points uh, twice for each of those records. Um, that's a lot of sort of transformation for Tableau. So that's gonna take a long while and I don't have a powerful laptop. So let's just narrow this data set down a little bit. Remember before what I did was I brought the company name and I actually focused on Donald Barnes. So let's just keep that in our data set, then remove the company and the number of records. And now we're down to 92 records. It's gonna be much, much easier to work with. Now we created the line already. So let's just double click on that. And there we go, we have the lines. And the lines go from the start to the finish. And actually, if you're doing this, you probably want to add more context so people can kind of see what's going on. So let's go up to the map layers and use some of the new maps that we've got in 2019 too. So here's some streets. And uh, we're going to bring the streets in and the terrain so we can start to understand how this works across the city. Okay. Now, this is a really, really powerful feature if you're just trying to visualize uh, sort of journeys. It works especially well across maybe uh, smaller data sets where you have maybe 20 or 30 routes that you'd like to draw on. And it's just a really, really nice way of sort of starting to make mapping a little bit more interesting. So we've done, uh, we've plotted some points and we've drawn the line from really short distances. But let's imagine that you want to plot uh, airline routes. So let's just zoom back out. Let's get the whole map into scope here. And let's assume that we wanted to say, plot the flight route between New York and London. Now, if you drew a straight line across, that wouldn't actually be the most direct route because of the projection and the curvature of the earth. Uh, a flat map doesn't quite reflect that correctly. So actually the route you take would be more a little bit like this. And so the make line function actually uh, behaves true to that uh, sort of phenomenon. So let's uh, have a look at an example. Again, I've gone to Mark Reed's profile and he's drawn this really nice example. In fact, he's got a great workbook showing lots of features in 2019.2. I encourage you to go and take a look on his profile. Um, the great thing about this map is it uses London um, uh, as the origin in this example because it's selected here. And he's actually using the parameter action as well in this video. So if I hit Granada, it changes the start point for the visualization and then plots the line to all the finish points, if that makes sense, okay? So this is a really, really good example of how that works. And notice how the curvature actually reflects the correct sort of route or the, the straightest line you could take if, if you envisage the curvature of the Earth. For all the flat Earthers, I'm sorry, this doesn't conform to your view of the world, but this is just how it is. So if I take New York, for example, if I was going from Bali to New York, I wouldn't fly across the ocean. Actually, the quickest way is to fly over the top of the earth, uh, over the top, literally over the top, go all the way north, and then back down the other side. That's actually the shortest route you take. Um, depending on where you are, this, this sort of effect can be really, really extreme. You see, if you look at Sydney and you go into Sao Paulo, uh, or Sao Paulo to Basel, it tends to work the further or the more hemispherical the locations are. It's just really important thing to bear in mind with the make line function. 
it's actually observing the 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 shape of the earth and the curvature um in a, in a really sort of powerful way actually that makes plotting things like flights more realistic so people can actually get a genuine sense of what's actually going on um if you enjoyed this video subscribe if not drop a comment below let us know what kind of content you'd like to see